laying away from home. The time has come for me to share my experience I've had with the migration from my home on the island of Jamaica to the United States. There were a lot of changes had to endure, such as a huge language barrier difference between me and people of America. The language I was born into was Patois, and the language that Americans speak is standardized English. Growing up on the island of Jamaica, I've learned about my history of my family and our heritage. Another point that was learned is that the fact that my people language isn't so far off from English. It is said that Patois happens to be the form of broken English. Have you ever had to move somewhere that was much unknown to you and how did that make you feel? Around the time I was eight years old, My parents have decided to share with my sister, brother, and I on how they want to move from Jamaica to America. We all asked why they want to move, and the answer was to explore better options and to see if they can live a better life. Me tell me mother cannot go there. The reason was because me tell her that me not trust America them still killing and turning blacks into slaves. Mommy, me na wa feel be catch up in in that. Me wa feel live a safe life with me family round me. We all have our reasons for not wanting change. Forgive me, but that is a huge change that my parents wanted, but I wasn't ready for that. After the move from Jamaica to America, I have lost a huge chunk of myself. I've lost a piece of my identity. And the reason why I've stated that is because after the move to America, I was forced to change my language and my name. Growing up, my name was not easy to comprehend or say. So once in America, my name was changed to Jamie. Now for my language, I was born into speaking Patois. Now I was told that I must learn and speak standardized English. When it comes down to learning English, it's not easy at all. And many of my schoolmates have told me that when it comes down to learning English, it's easy. In my mind, I would like to know where it is easy at because the fact of the matter, when it comes down to learning English, you cannot You cannot say certain things. One thing I've endured every day was attending ESL class. And with this class, it used to, it's used to help me get an understanding and try to speak standardized English much clearer than I am now. Me siblings and me say that we not what feel good. Fee we parents say that we have no choice and them tell me that we cannot live in a Jamaica by ourself. Me say why we can't. Why that girl next door does and her whole family dead. Me mother stated that she not me that she not sit at home doing nothing. She work a full time job. Baby, me love you, but me think that a eh, something you need for be doing for yourself. And maybe we wouldn't have to move to America. Dad and siblings all shine in and say, yeah. Mother, right. Now, when we reach America, get a job or two. Hold up. Oh, me cannot get a job yet alone. Me only 10 years old and not done with school yet. Once we have arrived to America, me family and me settle down in a for right now, we stand to ourselves. Me parents sign, sign we up 
in a school and we start in September. When it comes to starting school, me endured enough with me fellow classmates. My fellow classmates made fun of me day in and day out, poked me in my face. Now, can't forget about my teacher, Tracy. She was putting me down with saying I would never amount to nothing or nobody. She said that because I have a, a lack of standardized English and she was tired of correcting me on everything I've said wrong. After starting in a school, enough me classmates have made the decision to make fun of me still because of the fact of me accent. We speak a different dialect. Two weeks after school have start, me did tell by me teacher that me need to start taking ESL classes to teach me how to speak English. The teachers tell me that me have to speak properly with me English. We, me being, with me being 10 years old, me did, did in a, the fifth grade. After some time gone pun, me work harder and harder to better me English as time go upon me have seen an improvement now months later it take a while but it work out and me starting to be able to speak a little more clear with me English and it turns out that this whole time me did being teach how to speak standard English five years later while in the 10th grade I was turning 15 years old and at the time attending Hillcrest High School on the honor roll for perfect grades and good attendance. Hard intensive classes along with teachers always correcting me on what I was saying in the classroom. It turns out that the teachers kept doing to me was abbreviation and appropriation. Both Abbreviation and appropriation came with the territory of standardized English. It took several years and a good amount of patience for me to get where I am today. Where I am today is being able to speak standardized English. The only thing is upsetting is the fact that after years that have passed, I wound up forgetting who my identity was. At this moment, I truly identify myself as a black Jamaican young woman whom is speaking to be, whom is seeking to be better than my parents. I'm a tennis school and then would decide to head off to college to become a female doctor. Once I succeed in my goals with becoming a doctor, that would make me very happy because of how my parents both didn't finish in school or even tried to attempt to go to college either. Becoming a doctor would make both my parents proud and happy for me. And the reason is they want all their kids to grow up and become something big in their lives. As a young Jamaican woman growing up and growing up, this a different world has opened my mind to bigger and better things in life. I view education as an eye opener and for everything that I've learned myself, I'm hoping I can take it back to my home island to teach my fellow countrymen and women. The reason why I must do that is so that Jamaica can become a very, a way better than how it already is as of right now. My reflection. When it comes down to why I chose Jamaican Patois is because I was born into the language. My family is from the island of Jamaica as well. The reason for me using the Jamaican translator and give it or take it, take, I was born in Jamaica, but with me becoming American and learning standardized English, I have, I've lost most of my dialect of my nation language. 
I was just simply using Google to refresh my mind along with using my boyfriend as we he just came from the island with that he didn't lose his dialect yet when it comes down to my story the author this is like my reading is Michelle Cliff no telephone to heaven the only thing I borrowed from this story was the fact of someone coming from Jamaica to America and the fact she that was dealing with racism in the book telephone no telephone to heaven the characters move from Jamaica to America and then they find themselves living in Brooklyn at some point some point after that they move to London last when it comes to my experience with my classmates and my teacher it was a terrible one the reason why I stated that is because picture coming to class and you must participate in the class discussions and every time you open your mouth to say something everyone decides to laugh what my teacher Tracy decided to do was to tell me what I said wrong she attempted to correct me as someone from another island I wish no one has to go through what I went through growing up.